Yeah, Columbus police have confirmed that it was 18 year old Ayanta Jarman who was killed following last night's shooting. Columbus police also say that a 16 year old boy was also injured at this shooting. As it's quieted down here, they're still on the scene investigating, but this was caused by a house party, police say. CPD says they found Jarman on the scene, shot and unresponsive. She was transported to a local hospital where police confirmed she later died from her injuries. CPD says another 16 year old male victim was injured but is in stable condition. According to police, the shooting happened at a late night house party when a suspect or suspects shot into a crowd at the party. I spoke with police earlier who don't have us any information on a suspect at this time, but what they do have is they said they've re recovered guns from here at the scene. Now we'll continue to update you as this is a developing story. We'll update you on air and online at NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Chris D'Agostino, NBC4. All right, thanks, Carissa. Just one minute after shots were fired on Fairwood Avenue, officers were already responding to another shooting on Country Club Road in Whitehall. We're told police did not find a victim, but did find shell casings and saw that a nearby business had been struck by gunfire. A short time later, a local hospital called police to report a walk-in gunshot victim. That 48-year-old man said he was walking in that area with his daughter. When they heard those gunshots, he was hit in his rib cage and drove to the hospital where he's listed in stable condition. He told police he did not see who fired the gun. And 12 minutes later, Grant Medical Center also called police about a shooting victim there. Dispatchers, excuse me, dispatchers tell us that it was at Dirty Franks on 4th where they were shot, but police were not able to find a scene. No word on how that victim is doing at this time. They say an investigation is still ongoing. And of course, these are all developing stories and we'll continue to follow. You can stay up to date by finding this story on our website, NBC4i.com.